societal changes, the government will form a high-powered committee for an extensive consideration of the challenges arising from fast population growth and demographic changes. The committee will be mandated to make recommendations for addressing these challenges comprehensively in relation to the goal of Vikasit Bharat. Amrit Kal as Kartavya Kal. Our government stands committed to strengthening and expanding the economy with high growth and to create conditions for people to realize their aspirations. Honorable Prime Minister in his Independence Day address to the nation in the 75th year of our republic said, and I quote, we commit ourselves to national development with new inspirations, new consciousness, new resolutions as the country opens up immense possibilities and opportunities. It is our Kartavya Kaal. Unquote. Every challenge of the pre-2014 era was overcome through our economic management and our rev governance. These have placed the country on a resolute path of sustained high growth. This has been possible through right policies, true intentions, and appropriate decisions. In the full budget in July, Honorable Speaker, our government will present a detailed roadmap for our pursuit of Vikasit Bharat. Revised its estimates. Revised estimates of 2023-24. The revised estimate of the total receipts other than borrowings is 27.56 lakh crores of rupees, of which the tax receipts are 23.24 lakh crore rupees. The revised estimate of total expenditure is 44.90 lakh crore rupees. The revenue receipts at 30.03 30 lakh crore rupees are expected to be higher than the budget estimate, reflecting strong growth momentum and formalization in the economy. The revised estimate of the fiscal deficit is 5.8% of GDP, improving on the budget estimate, notwithstanding moderation in the nominal growth estimates. Budget estimates for 2024-25. Coming to the year 2024-25, the total receipts other than borrowings and total expenditure are estimated at 30.80 uh, and 47.66 lakh crore rupees respectively. The tax receipts are estimated at 26.02 lakh crore rupees. The scheme of 50-year interest-free loan for capital expenditure to states will be continued this year with an outlay of 1.3 lakh crore rupees. We continue on the path of fiscal consolidation. As announced in my budget speech of 2021-22, to reduce fiscal deficit below 4.5% by 25-26. The fiscal deficit in 2024-25 is estimated to be 5.1% of GDP adhering to that part. So the gross, net, the gross and net market borrowings through dated securities during 24-25 are estimated at 14.13 uh, lakh crore rupees and 11.75 lakh crore respectively. Both will be less than that in 23-24. Now that the private investments are happening at scale, the lower borrowings by the central government will facilitate larger availability of credit for the private sector. Vote on account. I'll be seeking vote on account approval of the parliament through the appropriation bill for a part of the financial year 2024-25. I will now move to part B. Honorable Speaker, sir, over the last 10 years, 
the direct tax collections have more than trebled and the return filers swelled 2.4 times. I would like to assure the taxpayers that their contributions have been used wisely for the development of the country and welfare of its people.